All right, hello everybody. Welcome back to another first play. This is another survival game that just came out. It is the developer's only title on Steam. The first title on Steam came out a couple of days ago, back on the 23rd of January. Abandon the Island of Korma without any equipment is exactly what you are. Collect whatever you can find in order to survive. You survive against Mother Nature, one word. Build a shelter to protect yourself and your most valuable items. Your goal is to be the strongest survivor and rule the island. It has 75 mixed reviews. It's getting a lot of reviews in just a few days because it is free. So this game is yet another survival game that uses the Unreal Engine. Um, but the fact that it's free and getting mixed reviews uh, makes me a little suspect of the quality. And it does, you know, bring up red flags that this is probably just another base foundation asset kit being used. Much like we've seen way too much of on Steam lately. We're going to take a look at Korma and we'll be back right after this. All right, welcome back everybody. I just launched the game and already I'm getting a feeling of deja vu. Look at this entry screen. This looks really familiar from last night when I played an Unreal Survival, a zombie survival game called World of Zombies. And even the UI here in the main menu looks exactly the same. This one does have a welcome to Korma. It's asking for my nickname. Um, you know, wanting feedback on their Discord so that we can help give them feedback. I mean, that's cool. We'll just put in a BS name there, XXX. That's fine. Home, play, profile, store. Because this is a free uh, survival game, I'm sure they're going to want to recoup their money from their time and purchasing these assets they bought. This one, however, the options, the World of Zombies, this looks exactly the same as the uh, graphics and audio, this is exactly the same as World of Zombies. Exact same layout and everything. However, World of Zombies did not have general or these controls. And it looks here like we can go in and, you know, set our own controls should we want to. The general just has the ability to save game or remove save game file. Okay. Well, it looks like we can join or host somebody, uh, but hitting refresh doesn't show any people online. So let's just go into a single player game, guys. And I haven't played this before, so um, we're just going to go ahead and new game. It says single player auto saves every minute. If you have a game saved, you can click load game. So I assume it's loading right now. I hope the game hasn't crashed. All right, here we go. So we start on a beach in this game, unlike starting in a camp in Un uh, World of Zombies last night. Um, I don't think there's going to be any zombies in this game. I think this is more of a base building survival type game where you're, you know, trying to build a base and maybe find a gun or build a gun and fight other players. The cool thing about this game is it is free, guys. I can tell by just this UI. I've seen this UI before, I know. And the UI is almost exactly the same. The base UI here is almost exactly the same as World of Zombies last night. They have reduced the size of the health, the hunger, and the thirst bar. They've made them smaller, put them down to the far corner, but those were a little bit longer. Exact same icons and everything, though, as World of Zombies. And just looking here, it looks like we need quite a bit of stuff even to build a campfire. That's a weird-looking rock. I'm sure these rocks probably either came in the base foundation kit for this or they purchased some some rocks or maybe set a texture on these rock assets. We know that every rock is going to be, you know, like every silver rock is going to be exactly the same. Every stone and, you know, ore rock is going to be the exact same rock just placed placed randomly around the environment or the forest or whatever. Um, I'm not seeing any little rocks to get or any little sticks to pick up. Usually these kind of games give you some way of collecting wood and stone. This is what you're going to hit when you get a pickaxe. Um, I did see that you can craft by hitting tab. One thing I'm noticing right away though is 
you know, for this being a foundation, uh, base foundation asset kit, which I guarantee you it is, it's an Unreal found Foundation, you know, Unreal Asset uh, base, uh, you know, foundation asset kit to kind of help you build your own survival game using the Unreal Engine. I just don't know where it's from. I did look on the Unreal store. I couldn't find one exactly like this. But, I mean, who knows where these guys are getting this, this survival uh, forest unreal asset kit from that uses the same ui i mean it's somewhere it might be who knows it might be from a youtube video it might be from udemy we do have some water here let's see if we can swim oh that uh e looks familiar as well and if we hold it down to drink water looks exactly like the ui from yesterday's world of zombies i love how we could just walk right on water here and i love that really steep mountain that looks like it was just dragged up very quickly However, one thing about, you know, asset, uh, you know, games where they just use a base foundation asset kit with Unreal, at least it looks a lot better than a Unity asset kit. Um, the graphics look a lot better here. And I mean, you can't complain. We see some kind of building up here in front of us. We'll head over that way. But I mean, you can't complain too much when they offer this for free. However, I did see a store in the main menu, so I can only assume, well, those arms, I think I saw those exact same arms as well last night in World of Zombies when I jumped. Pretty sure that was the exact same arms I saw on my character last night. Uh, they're obviously using the exact same, uh, like I said, same, same foundation asset kit. I got a motel here, huh? Okay. Nice. We got any kind of goods over here? Maybe a gun? Maybe a weapon? Something? Can't go in there? I didn't think so. It's worth a try, though. We're not going to be able to go inside this building, I don't think. So they're just going to place items like that water bottle around the outside. I bet you anything this motel is just a... So I bet you anything this motel is on the Unreal Engine store. Got some beds here. Um, anything in the bathroom here? Anything in the toilet? Hey, sometimes yeah, I've seen some of these games where they'll have like bandages or a knife or something in the toilet. So you always got to check, right? All right. Well, another water bottle. I'm sure that'll come in handy unless uh, we have a lake or we can walk right on water. I must be Jesus walking on water. An empty motel room. No bathtub. No toilet. No bed. Hmm, I'm getting a little bit lazy here, aren't you guys? Not even filling in the motel room with your bed assets and your bathtub and toilet assets. What the hell? Oh, there's an apple. All right, we'll eat the apple and tab. Let's drag this down to our hot bar, drag a water bottle down here. Can we stack the water bottles? No, I didn't think so. All right, one to eat our apple, apple consumed. It looks like it gave us about 15 hunger okay well guys what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look on the unreal asset store and see if I can't find this motel because it's right out here in the middle of nowhere and you know it just looks a little bit weird out in the middle of a forest with no roads leading to it or anything so I can almost guarantee this motel by itself is just an asset uh, you know something you could buy in the unreal engine store I could be wrong but I would bet that's just a separate item you can buy on the unreal engine store I will check later and add it to this video if that is the case. All right. All right, guys, I did figure out that what you need to do to get stone and wood is walk around. You're looking for these, not the big rocks like that, these little silver rocks like this, and you can just smack your E key to pick them up. Can't do anything with those. Those you need to build a pickaxe to collect. And the same thing with wood, you look for actual, instead of sticks, like I would have, you know, thinking, uh, with this particular game, you're going to just look for these wood stumps right here, and you can just pick those up. You just pull those, uh, you know, tree stumps right out of the ground, and, and that gives you one wood or whatever. Yeah. So, we are just collecting wood and stone, because pretty much to craft anything, we need these basic resources. I ran out of wooden stone on the beach, moved inland here, and collecting more stone and wood. 
But I think we have about enough resources to maybe craft a, uh, a hatchet. Let's see. Yeah, I think... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so we got a stack of wood. Hang on, guys. I'm just looking here. We got a stack of wood in our hot bar that I drug down here. And that's not moving up, so I assume it's adding it to our stack in our... Okay, yeah, in our inventory. We add that there. Okay, it stacks it up. 99 is the most wood you can have. Looks like you can have a stack of 100 stone. Let's just drag all this stuff back up into our inventory here. And we should be able to craft something now. Let's start off with a, uh, a hatchet or a wood axe here. Yeah, it's in green letters, so we have plenty. 75 wood logs and 100 stone seems like a lot. Takes 10 seconds to craft. Got a crafting queue. Yeah, I guarantee this whole crafting system and everything like that is part of the, the survival asset kit that they got somewhere. All right, so we got us a, a wood axe now, guys. We should be able to chop down a tree. Let's see how this works. All right, we're getting apples, huh? And then we're getting a wood a lot faster than running around looking for stumps. Well, at least that's something. I feel like we're making some kind of progress. All right, we're not going to be able to get stone with a axe, so we're going to have to craft a uh, pickaxe. I did see that in the crafting menu. I like how these trees just... You just chop it along and... Uh, boink! It just pop. It just boinks out of existence. It doesn't fall or anything like that. It's just like, pop, I'm gone. <laughs> Alright, well, I mean, this is an alpha. I mean, like I say, you gotta get, you know, you gotta give it credit. It's free, and the graphics do look good. Uh, no complaints on the graphics for this, but... I just hate developers who put in real, you know, I don't know how much effort they're actually putting into this, but it looks like most of the work is already done. Like, I guarantee the developer of this particular free survival game on Steam, they didn't make this whole, you know, crafting and inventory system. This was already done for them. The UI was pretty much done for them. Okay, we got us a pickaxe down. So now we can hack at these big old rocks. And uh, let's move our pickaxe to the second slot. We're really hungry, so we're going to eat some apples here, guys. Yeah, it looks like it's 15 hunger per apple. But it's giving us some hydration as well, as you would expect. I only have... No, I have two bottles of water. But let's just go ahead and... Now, yeah, let's go ahead and drink one of these. Okay, so we don't got an empty bottle, so it doesn't look like we can just fill up an empty bottle of the lake if we find that lake again. Um, nope, nothing there. Probably got to look for the, uh, the colored rocks. Yeah, see, like, this ain't gonna work. We got to get the gold ones and the blue ones, and probably this white one over here will give us, I'm guessing, just regular stone. But yeah, just stone. Oh, yeah, it's a lot faster than running around looking for rocks. All right. So gold, what is gold gonna give us? Like, metal? Like, blue might be sulfur, this is metal? No, this is gold ore. Okay. I was gonna guess gold would have been metal and blue would have been sulfur. Okay, blue is iron ore. Okay. And then gold is gold ore. There is no metal, I don't guess. Well, you probably get metal after you, after you smelt down your ore. Alright, we'll figure all that out. Alright, now that I got us a workbench, workbench is really easy to craft. We saw how easy that was. Get us some more stone. I think I saw another building up here. Yeah, looks like we got another set of buildings up here in the distance there. I mean, as you're running along, if you can quickly hit your E button and, you know, grab these stones and, and uh, tree stumps for wood, it's pretty quick. But I don't know that I would stop. If you already have a pickaxe and a and a axe. What does that say over there on the white sign? Something under construction? Okay, I'll look in a second, guys. So again, this is just really weird, just out in the middle of nowhere, just some kind of a you know, an asset set of buildings that they purchased and and just threw into their world. The thing I wonder here is are we gonna have any goodies hidden here? 
Maybe some weapons or mine under construction. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, there really wasn't anybody playing this game, guys. That's the only way I can imagine this game being fun is if you're running around chasing people around and and fighting and stuff. Like playing this game by myself isn't a whole lot of fun. So maybe I'll do another video if I can get somebody else to play with me on this and see how that works, see how the combat works or whatever. I would like to kind of maybe build a little base or something, but that's why I'm kind of collecting all this wood and stuff because I know it's going to take a lot. But I don't know. I haven't seen any... There's no zombies or anything like that, but I haven't seen any deer or... You know, any uh, bears or anything in this game yet. I haven't run across any other any other AI at all. And we know there's no other players because I went into single player. So that kind of makes for a boring game when I'm just, I'm the only entity running around the world. It's like super boring. Yeah, that fall I took off the, uh, I took a fall off a little rock and... It did quite a bit of damage to me. You see me down there with like 36 health. One little fall, like I fell like 3-4 feet and did like, what, 65% damage to my health? Must be pretty weak. I could understand it if I had fallen off of like a, a big old cliff or something like that, but I literally fell like 4 or 5 feet and more than half killed myself. I guess that's a threat. Just watch out for Watch out for those, you know, falling off rocks and stuff. Oh, guys, we got wildlife! Whoa, I didn't think there was any other creature in this uh, in this game yet. That's cool. I've been running around here for like 30 minutes and I haven't seen nothing. All right. Come here, piggy. Come here, piggy. Pigs don't actually look too bad. Again, I know these are just assets in the uh, Unreal Asset Store, but... Hey, they're supplying me with some cloth and raw meat. I can build a campfire and cook some meat up. Oh boy, like we've never done that in a in a survival game. Building a campfire and cooking meat. That ought to be a big joy. Using the you know, the UI asset crafting system that's probably in twenty other games on on Steam already. Oh shit, we got a wolf! We got a wolf! Oh, that was quick. Like, he bit me twice and my 36 health I had was gone. I could have used that cloth to make a bandage too, damn it. Damn wolf. Man, I lost all my stuff I've been collecting for the past 30 minutes. Arg. Well, I was going to say, guys, so I'm starting back here on the beach again. At least I'm full health and hydration and everything, but, yep, I lost all my stuff. The uh, question I'm asking is, I don't see any kind of bar going up, any light bar going up in the air showing me where I died. I don't see any kind of skull. I don't see where I died at, so I can go get my stuff back. Huh. Maybe that's not in yet. I don't know. Well, that sucks. Yeah, but I was just going to talk about, there's so many of these survival games on Steam now, both Unity and Unreal and, and everything nowadays. We've seen so many of these, but I remember back when Rust first launched, I believe it was like December of 2013 in Early Access, I mean old legacy Rust. Man, I remember that because that was new back then, an online survival game. That was epic fun. Like going in there, it'd be so scared as it got dark at night and you were trying to hide from other players and build you a little shack. And I remember how scary it was when you'd hear guys, you know, walk by you and you knew they had a gun. You're sitting there. You had a campfire in your little shack, but you knew you had to put it out and uh, kind of freeze because you knew that campfire put off light and you didn't want light showing through the, the little cracks in your shed or your little shack because you knew they'd be over there waiting for you to open the door in the morning and bam, shoot you with a gun or whatever and take all your loot. Man, those those legacy, those early days of legacy rust, those were, those were so much fun. It's not quite the same anymore after we've seen a hundred of these survival uh, games and half of them are made with asset kits like this one. And that's what you see right here. I mean, this one even has the red lines. They didn't even take the red lines out. They just plopped this big, you know, this had big asset in and it still has the, the red boundary lines in here. I mean, this is, this is pretty sad. 
I mean, I know this is free and it might be fun if you play online with some friends. We'll have to get some friends together and play and see if we can fight each other and attack each other. Maybe I'll do that soon, guys, but yeah, I mean, running around here and and only seeing a couple of pigs and then having a wolf kill me. Yeah, can't say this is exactly exciting. I'd, I'd much rather play a real survival game like, you know, uh, subsidence or something like that or even Rust and just go in and play some asset kit lazily made thing like this or World of Zombies last night or whatever. I gotta say though guys for free this is without a doubt much better uh, than World of Zombies for sure. Alright guys well anyway I'm pretty bored with this already so I want to go thank you guys for watching. Be sure you comment down below let me know what you guys think. This has been Zach 39 Take care everybody.